Okay, hi everyone, thank you for joining. Um, so my name is Syra, I'm one of the managers at First Care Practice and today uh, we're doing an online webinar on mental health, uh, so thank you for joining us. Um, before we start, just to give you a heads up, if there are any technical issues, please bear with us, we'll try and get them resolved. Um, if you have any questions throughout, then please use the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen and we'll try our best to answer them. Um, and yeah, I can introduce you to Rowena, our physician associate, who'll be um, hosting this webinar. Over to you, Rowena. Thanks, Sarah. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rowena. I'm a first. I'm a physician associate at First Care Practice. Uh, thanks so much for joining the webinar today. Where I will be talking about mental health and how we can look after our mental health during this time. Okay, so Sarah, yes. Yeah. Thank you. So, next slide, Syrah, please. Thank you. So on your screen right now, uh, I've just put some really useful links that you may want to visit later on. It will expand everything that I will talk about today, okay? Um, but as I said, uh, how we can look after our mental health right now it's really important because the coronavirus issue has really taken over our lives at the moment i'm sure a lot of people at the moment are feeling all sorts of emotions um probably most of you are feeling scared or anxious fearful nervous uh, the future is so uncertain at the moment for everyone and of course your emotions will be increased even more so during this time these are all valid feelings and we should not ignore them. So I hope that uh, I hope that I can mention a few tips and how to better manage your emotions and look after your mental health during this time. So I feel like everyone has to feel prepared now and definitely in the next coming days. So we, we need to expect to hear about coronavirus updates because this is what everyone is dealing with at the moment so we need to expect to hear about coronavirus okay um, if you're working from home I hope that you feel prepared enough to work from home so make sure that you have all the required equipment that you need to work from home so that you can work efficiently whether that's having a work laptop or a work phone um, if you don't feel prepared, this can increase your, your anxiety or your stress, and we don't want that. So please do talk to your employer so that you can see how they can help you, so that you can feel more prepared when you're at home. If you don't work, uh, uh, that's fine. Uh, it's really important that you should have a routine in place. So uh, make sure that you try and wake up go to sleep at the same time each day, make sure that you have your regular meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner at around the same time each day. Um, every single day you can wake up and sort of plan your day ahead so that you have a routine in place, okay? And also, oh sorry, Sarah, one more, one more thing that I wanted to mention is uh, wherever you live um, with different communities and boroughs there's lots of local help available um, that can help you during this really really stressful time so please do get in touch with them surprised next slide Sarah thank you okay so at this moment in time there are so many there's so many sources of information um, and it's really important that you stick to the facts okay so stick to trusted sources of information such as the gov.uk website or the nhs website uh, it's so easy to get sucked in into the whirlwind of information um, because everyone's sharing things on social media sometimes you don't know whether information is actually true true or actually really be careful and that as it's important to stay up to date with all the news that's coming to us it's also important not to overload yourself because the more information that you're open to your anxiety level 
levels can increase and this can you know scare you and put you off so really do try and limit your time to watching the news or listening to the radio set yourself a certain time or amount of time in a day to catch up with updates so just you can say to yourself okay i'm going to check my um i'm going to check the bbc news app um for five minutes at 12 p.m and 6 p.m and that should be your daily updates Okay, so really important to stay connected during this difficult time. Um, you can use FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, WhatsApp. Do have time during your days to stay in contact with your friends and your family. Really important to talk about your worries at the moment um, with people that you can trust it's completely acceptable to be feeling the way that you are feeling at the moment. Do not bottle it up. Do talk about it because it's really, really good to just let your, your feelings out. Um, it's also good to keep a journal. It can be quite powerful to help and express your emotions. Um, be honest with how you're feeling as well. Okay, so really important also to take care of your body um, as i said it's good to have your daily routine um, having your regular meals making sure that you are trying to eat as well as you can make sure that you're opening your windows at home uh, getting some fresh air in if you've got a garden or a balcony make sure that you go out, get some fresh air, get good weather, sunlight at the moment. If you don't have a garden or balcony, that's okay. Um, I'm sure there's some sunlight coming into your window. Um, get some vitamin D during this time. Really, really good. Um, also, stay active. Um, under the government guidelines at the moment, you can leave your homes for a form of exercise, whether that's walking or jogging or cycling. Um, but really uh, important to remain your social distancing as well during these times if you do leave home for a form of exercise. Um, and also just making sure that you leave some time for yourself to relax and do things that you enjoy, um, whether that's uh, drawing, listening to music, watching your favourite TV programme, having, having a relaxing bath, reading, And if you ever feel like you are starting to have, you know, anxious feelings, feeling stressed, you can't control how you are feeling, really important to recognize this and just take yourself out of that situation. So go to a safe place at home or wherever you are, take yourself out of that situation, close your eyes, calm down try and focus on one thing and with that moment just focus on your breathing um so just take really calm relaxed deep breaths slowly in holding and then breathing out really slowly and you will find that it may take a few seconds or minutes but you will find that you will find a, a calm place after that um, it does take practice to, to master this, to make you feel like you're in control again of the situation. But if you do practice this every single day, you can master it. Um, with, with feelings at the moment, unfortunately, we can't stop feelings, but we can learn to completely manage them. And however you're feeling at the moment, it is completely acceptable acceptable during this time so don't feel that you are ever alone if you are struggling with how you are feeling please 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 uh, the the mental health crisis number is on your screen please note this number down and you can call this number anytime there are people out there who can help you to deal with how you're feeling at the moment. And hopefully um, by the end of this talk, you're feeling much more positive, much more grateful, and thank you very much for listening.
Thank you, every, thank you, Rowena, and thank you for um, attending. Um, I haven't got any question. Give me one moment. I'll just have a look if there's any questions. I have a comment here um, saying having some structure to your day is a really good idea. So thank you for that, Rowena. Um, okay, so the news is a bit stressful. Um, uh, as it, you know, a lot of people are not able to see their friends and family. So do you have any ideas on how we can cope? Okay, so thank you for your question. We can use technology. So um, if you've got Facebook, WhatsApp, Skype, uh, Zoom, there are many platforms that we can use to stay in touch with our friends and family definitely leave some time every single day to stay in touch with your friends and family whether that's a video call or a telephone call or or a message thank you Rowena okay we'll end this webinar now uh, we will have many more webinars coming up soon and we'll keep you updated um, and this will also be available on YouTube for you to have a look um, look at later on so thank you everyone for joining um, I'm just going to put up a quick poll um, to just get your feedback on how you found this webinar. So it would be grateful if you could fill this in. Also, guys, just one last, um, just one last uh, point that I wanted to mention. Um, there's something called Hounslow IAPT. Um, I will put that link in for, for patients who want to view this webinar later on, but it's where you can actually self-refer yourself to the mental health team in Hounslow and they can actually provide you with services in order to, to, to help you with how you're feeling. Thank you, Rowena. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Bye.